Uh, but we also know that uh, large, largely the portion is of, of the blend doesn't fall on, on any human effort that we would have put in from our side. There's a lot of things that happen in these elections, and as uh, the, 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 our, our, our leader has told you, that in the fullness of time, uh, all of these things will become clear, and you will realize that really uh, it is not uh, as a meal that didn't do this or didn't do that, that we didn't have the guile or so on and so forth. But the most critical thing is, uh, and, and I think I need to make this very clear, that there is no one of us uh, in Azimio who is keen on this president or this government failing. Because uh, we are all in this plane together. If you're wishing the, the pilot to fail, mm -hmm. <laughs> really it is uh, all, all of you. Tubes, yes. uh, it is all of you going down. What we want to see is uh, uh, a mental transition from the current administration, from that uh, campaign, you know, rhetoric and, and, and posturing and stance to now delivery of service to the people of Kenya. You know, they made certain promises that were to be, uh, you know, fulfilled within the first 100 days. 100 days uh, sneaks on you the ball. Mm. We, we are almost, almost... Uh, uh, halfway. You know, halfway there. Yes, yes. So people are suffering. As we speak right now, the issue of the cost of living, which was one of the things that we wanted addressed urgently as a mm. we want the president to provide a plan for us as uh, members of parliament to help him to deliver, uh, you know, lower cost of, uh, of living. Mm -hmm. They have told us that uh, they remove the subsidies so that they can be, you know, transient pain for permanent gain. But I really question why it was necessary for Kenyans to be visited with that, even that transient pain, given that they have been in this pain for a very long time. In my view, it would have been possible and better that they retain the subsidies so that Kenyans don't have to suffer while they still figure out... Uh, you know, what they're supposed to do with the economy. And we were told during the campaign that these are people who from day one know what to do. So that even this transient pain that they are visiting on Kenyans by removing the subsidies, now fuel is, uh, uh, you know, skyrocketed. Everything else has gone up. Uh, we were, I was watching the news last night and I saw that even uh, prices of other commodities are going to go up because of the, intro, uh, the, the, the introduction or the raising of uh, excise tax. So I don't really know uh, if these guys know what they are doing and if they really need the input of uh, the rest of us mm -hmm. uh, for them to be able to succeed. So they need to disengage. If you see the stance, uh, the public utterances, the demeanor of uh, the deputy president, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, th there is all sorts of concern that, uh, you know, they are more focused on retribution, uh, proving themselves to having been right, uh, teaching lessons <laughs> to their perceived mm -hmm. enemies. Mm -hmm. And in that entire confusion, they are forgetting that the two main issues on the table for Kenyans is the reduction of the cost of living and unemployment. We need to find jobs for our, for our people, for our young people. Do you think also it's a relief that uh, this excess duty has been exempted from, uh, you know, the taxes in the fuel? Uh, right now, at least, we had a 6.3 inflation uh, uh, that uh, was bound to make it spike. But right now, at least, it will plateau. Yeah, but, yeah. but still, but still, we, we haven't seen these uh, sort of uh, prices for fuel uh, in a very long time. And uh, the, the, you know, explanation that is being given is that it is a necessary pain for now as they try and figure out what to do. But we were told <laughs> during the campaign that these are guys with experience. Uh, Mudavadi told us he has an economic plan that he would get implementing on day one. When the president, uh, the former president, was talking about uh, the effects of uh, things that are beyond our control, like the war in Europe, uh, like the ex uh, escalating prices of crude and energy in general, uh, and how the war in Ukraine has affected the uh, food supply across uh, the globe, they said it was all uh, a lie, that in fact the factors were all internal. So we expected that uh, now that they have taken reins of power and they told us they know what they were doing, the first issue to address really was the cost of living. Even without those uh, taxes that you're talking about, really the cost of fuel was never this high, you know, and you know the spiral effect of having uh, such expensive fuel in the country. So what we want to see, I want to say here, and I can speak on behalf of at least members of ODM, we are willing to help this government to succeed. Let them disengage from politics of campaigns, retribution, and gloating, and uh, beating people who are already down, showing us who, who is boss, the new guys in town. Let them forget all those things and approach the leaders who were elected by uh, the, the, the people with respect and give us a plan that we, we can see makes sense in, in order to get us out of the problem that we're in, and we will support that. All right. Uh, but uh, also on the, on, 